conquer visual and they need to conquer um, tactile. So can you say that again, the three things? Yeah, tactile, auditory, and visual stimuli. So I like it. It's called the Doberman Rules of Seven. I don't know if you've heard of this, the Doberman Rules of Seven. It's not mine. I'd give him credit if I knew who it was. <laughs> so he likes to train in seven different locations. He likes to eat uh, in seven different locations. If I put a food bowl out and my dog can't concentrate on its food for three yeah, minutes. And like like Maybe it was. I, I just, I forget who it was. Yeah. Yeah, that's the tactile. But if my dog can't concentrate on its food in the middle of Walmart, well, my dog definitely but I'm going to have a hard time focusing on fools. That's very natural for a dog. So I, I'll feed in different locations. If I can't, I want my dog to conquer an auditory stimuli. So I'll have my wife turn on the coffee grinder when the puppy's four months old. And just uh, a vacuum cleaner. Just cleaning kind of by the puppy. Not scaring the puppy. A hair dryer. So concentrate with different uh, stimuli. I like uh, visual. My parents have this yellow lab that looks like a dog. I mean, it looks like real. It's stuffed animal she got for the kids. Put that by the dog and let it eat. Whoa, what, what is that? It's just good. It's not spooking the dog. It's not going to attack the dog. It's just I want my dog to conquer every single thing. We're a mirror. Um, it's really good. Michael Ellis does something that's very good. I said, oh, Michael, I'm going to steal this from you. He will have a piece of plywood. He'll get the empty water bottles and glue them on top of each other. And he'll have dogs in the blind hold the bark on that crinkly, tactile surface. Wow. So you can think of different ways to conquer. I never conquer things out of drive, you guys. I conquer. By the way, we don't use the word nervy anymore. We use the word sharp. We use the word civil. I'm going to use the word nervy. The best dog I ever had was that dog I was talking about, Arno. He was nervy. I don't mind nervy. I mind too much nerve because that's too much Tabasco sauce in the soup. I like a little bit of nerve because guess where your aggression comes from? Nerve. A little bit of nerve is good. They notice something. So like when one person said, I'm breeding for stability and prey drive. I said, you just described the perfect yellow lab. They have high prey drive and they're stable. Where's your angst come from? And they're like, what? And I'm like, you need a little bit of nerve in there. Um, you can picture that. So a little bit I like from breed. Not a lot, a little bit. That being said, if I have a dog with a little bit of nerve, my prey drive better be OCD. I can get you to conquer that nerve through OCD. So that dog I was talking about, Nico. I'm walking in Livingston. He's probably eight, nine months old. There was a plastic bag blowing against the fire hydrant. He saw it. It was like a ghost popped out. It was about this time of year, October. Like, wah, 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 wah. What's the worst thing I could have done? Praise it's the okay, yeah. good boy. I'm conveying, good boy, for be afraid. The next is just walking by it, it out of drive 20 times. And by the way, I don't believe in flooding. If you guys don't know what flooding is in psychology, it's like, let's say there's a lady afraid of spiders or a guy. I say, I have an idea. Let's tie her down and pour thousands of spiders on her. I can make that worse <laughs> through flooding. So I don't like, to, so you see people like, I have a, a dog that's maybe, I didn't do enough socializing when they're six months old. I have an idea, let's take it to the street fair. Maybe that's a little too much flooding with 50 million people. So with Nico, what I did is I started playing games. What's that? I started playing games. I got food, chase, chase, not at the plastic bag, around it. Then I got the toy out. Hey, pretty soon we're conquering and playing next to that plastic bag blowing, conquering a negative in drive. That's something I would encourage all people to do with young dogs, is how to conquer tactile, visual, and auditory. And with that dog, Arno, that I was talking about, if you speak, like I said, seven languages, I was given the example with Alan the other day, and French is a one, and I just speak English, and we both took a class in college, he'll learn French quicker. His brain learned how to learn. That's very, that's very true. 
if my dogs learned how to conquer 99 stimuli through drive, not flooding, the hunters, no problem. They learned how to learn, and they learned how to conquer, and they don't lose. And by the way, what's a helper's job to do? Lose every single time. A helper can never win. A helper must lose, and the dog just becomes powerful and powerful and powerful. But you can do that as handlers by certain things. That's why I noticed when I walked my dogs, though, at a younger age in town, they really don't bother, the plastic bag doesn't bother them. That was be this was a long time ago before I really started walking my dogs. That was like 25 years ago, that dog with Nico. But now I don't see my young dogs having that kind of nerve because they walk. Any questions on any of that? These are a lot, but to get that kind of dog that maybe some of you want for that high competition, you can see it's a lot of work. It's not like, hey, sit in front of the TV monitor and let me show you a video of the Bundesliga. And the dog's like, okay, got the exercise. No. Got it. 